four. And tonight, a strong response from Premier Doug Ford to the Trump NAFTA news and the possibility that the U.S. government is looking into tariffs in the auto industry. We have to get this done. It is absolutely critical. We do $389 billion of uh, trade with the U.S. Ontario alone, back and forth together, $389 billion. We need this. It's absolutely essential. Our job as a government is to protect Ontario jobs. We're going to protect Ontario jobs and do what it takes to make sure we help the federal government, standing shoulder to shoulder with the federal government, to make sure we get this deal done. And coming up a little later on in the show, why some believe these latest trade talks could be welcome news for car buyers. Well, the auto industry is revved up today, reacting to the Trump NAFTA news, uh, some of that tough talk on trade and tariffs. Now, some fear uh, this could mean a slow death for the auto industry if Canada is not part of the agreement. Uh, but they also say that this NAFTA negotiation could benefit you and auto workers if it all works out. The new deal between the U.S. and Mexico requires 75% of auto content to be made in the NAFTA region, up from the current level of 62%. The deal also would require 40 to 45% of auto content to be made by workers earning at least $16 an hour. Well, I think this is going to have a positive impact for Canadian workers. Uh, the elephant in the room for the renegotiation of NAFTA has really been the low wages for Mexican workers. That's why we've closed four auto assembly plants in Canada, ten in the United States, and they've opened all these plants in Mexico. So having wages of Mex you know, 40 to 45 percent of a car, having wages of at least $16 an hour, that's going to stop the bleeding of jobs, I will argue, here in Canada to Mexico. If we were, as I mentioned, to follow suit um, with the example set uh, between the U.S. And, and Mexico with the deal they have right now. What's that going to mean? Is it going to mean cheaper cars? Is it going to mean more selection? Uh, what, what's your thoughts? It, it, it's it's going to mean all those things. I, I mean, ultimately, there's going to be some, some tweaks, I guess, with regards to content quotas, with regards to uh, tariff-free treatment under the newly renegotiated NAFTA. But ultimately, it's going to mean for the consumer increased choice, more product, better product at more affordable prices. Well, according to the union, the uh, Canadian auto sector brings in about $80 billion a year. It's Canada's largest export industry with about 125,000 direct jobs. 